Hello everyone. Well, nothing big going on in Wisconsin today or tonight, but tomorrow, that's a different story. But exactly how big a deal it's going to be is still in question. But let's show you the latest information that's coming in. We're starting at 8 a.m. this morning. It is completely dry across the state. Lots of clouds, but no precipitation. That's all to our west. Now, the earliest we could start to see a few stray rain showers, and yes, rain showers, it's about 11 a.m., but I do think this is just for western locations in the state. We're talking about maybe Chippewa Falls, seeing a few stray rain showers beginning around 11 a.m., lacrosse. Uh, the southwestern corner of the state, but everybody central eastern Wisconsin is still dry at 11 a.m. Now, these rain showers are going to try and spread east. By the time we get to 2 o'clock, I still think it's just going to be isolated rain showers, but a little bit more activity in the western part of the state. I'll also mention by 2 o'clock, a few of these stray rain showers may start to push into the central part of the state, so I'll now begin the rain chance. And again, rain, because look at our temperatures. Highs today are going to be in the upper 30s low 40s, but a few stray rain showers possible by 2 o'clock, ways like Rhinelander, Wausau, Portage, Madison, and down to Janesville. But if you're in the most eastern part of the state, still completely dry, though still mostly cloudy. It's going to be breezy no matter where you are in the state today, but uniform winds, uh, northern and southern Wisconsin, gusts around 20 miles per hour. Jump ahead to the homebound commute and still nothing big. We're still talking about just isolated showers, still a little bit more in the west. And now I'll finally mention the chance in the eastern part say do have to mention but notice how at five o'clock a lot of us are probably going to be dry there are going to be showers around but more are probably going to have a dry homebound commute than a wet one and still rain now by eight o'clock though we're still talking about isolated showers notice a little bit more showing up and I'm not going to rule out by 8 o'clock the chance for a little bit of snow mixing in. I still think it's mostly going to be rain during the evening hours where these showers are occurring, but we'll call it a rain-snow mix beginning around 8 o'clock, but still nothing big. So let's skip through all of tonight and actually through the very early morning hours tomorrow. Look, we're looking at 9 a.m. right now, and we are still talking about isolated activity in the state. So the morning commute looks okay tomorrow. Yes, there are going to be some isolated rain and snow showers around, but nothing big. So the morning commute's still okay, but I'm stopping this at 9 a.m. for a big reason. Because it looks like it's around 9 a.m. tomorrow morning that the main area of snow is going to start pushing into the southwestern part of the state. So let's jump ahead now from 9 a.m. to 1 o'clock in the afternoon and look how the story is definitely changing. Uh, notice it looks like it's going to be a, a quick changeover from just the, the rain-snow mix of just plain old snow. Now, at 1 o'clock, we do still have to talk about temperatures. Now, it does look like a lot of us are going to reach the mid-30s. So initially, as the snow is coming down and picking up in intensity, there is going to be some melting. But I do think temperatures are probably going to peak in the early afternoon. Then they're going to start to come down. And a lot of places, they're probably going to drop below freezing. So because there's already going to be pockets of heavy snow as we get into the afternoon, we're going to overcome that melting and the snow is really going to start piling up. Also tomorrow, going to be breezy. In fact, probably a little bit more wind than today. We're looking at gusts around 25 miles per hour. Again, no matter where you are in the state, winds do look uniform across Wisconsin. And now we're looking at 5 o'clock. So while there won't be impacts for the morning commute tomorrow, check out 5 o'clock tomorrow. There are definitely going to be impacts for the homebound commute. It looks like a lot of light to moderate snow, and there are going to be pockets of heavy snow. And keep in mind, there will already have been snow falling during the early afternoon. So we're looking at snow-covered roads, reduced visibility. The homebound commute tomorrow is going to be slowed down. But how much? And I'm just going to stop things here at 5 o'clock because there are two big questions that are going to ultimately dictate how much snow we see across the state. Thursday night, we know we're still going to be covered in snow. All the models agree on that. What they don't agree on is how much of the snow is going to be heavy. Is it mostly going to be light to moderate snow? Or is it mostly going to be heavy snow? And then where exactly is the heaviest snow going to be? So a lot of disagreement in the models about that. And then the question for Friday, we do expect improving conditions Friday, but how quickly is the snow going to move out of here? Probably the heavy snow is going to be limited to Thursday night, but how long is the light and moderate snow going to linger on Friday? Is it going to end early Friday morning or to late Friday afternoon in some locations? That's a possibility. Late Friday afternoon, it may not end in some locations, especially in the eastern part of the state. 
and the models are in big disagreement about that. So what I'm getting at here is there's still a lot of disagreement in how much snow we're going to see. But the picture is starting to become a little bit clearer. So I'm going to show you a snow map with the warning that there are going to be some adjustments to this. But this is what the models are telling us right now. Notice it's frustrating. It's a big range, I know. But one thing that is starting to come, become clear is more snow to the south, less snow to the north. But look at the possibilities. As little as six inches, but that's still a lot. Madison, Janesville, Kenosha. But some models saying as much as 10 inches of snow. It go a little bit to the north and the range drops a little bit to five to nine inches for La Crosse, five to nine inches for Portage. But then there's more of a significant drop as you start to push in to the northern half of the state. But we're still looking at the possibility of up to six inches of snow in Green Bay, Wausau, seven inches of snow at Triple Falls. But look at the other extreme. It could be as little as two or three inches in the northern half of the state. Very messy. So where do things stand right now? Well, we know everybody in Wisconsin is going to see snow. We know it's going to be a noteworthy snow for everyone. And for some, it could very well be an extreme snow event, and that's most likely in southern Wisconsin. And we know there are going to be impacts for the Thursday evening commute and the Friday morning commute, though the, in, the extent of those impacts is still in question. So bottom line is these models will come into better agreement. We will get a clearer picture of what is going to happen Thursday through Friday even later this evening, but especially tomorrow morning. So look for an update on these snow totals then.